this video, we want to focus on lines. Now, when we talk about lines, we know that lines, they are simply the distance between two points. Lines are simply the distance between two points. So, we can say that lines, a line is the distance between two points. So, a line is the distance between two points. So a line is the distance between two points. So I can say that this is A, this is B. So this is a line. The distance between these two points, A, B, is the line. So the types of line that you should know, the most important lines that you should know for now, which I am going to be giving to you on this video. So the first line that you should consider for now is what we call a vertical line. Vertical line. What do we know about a vertical line? We know that a vertical line is simply a line that is upright. A vertical line is simply what? Upright. A vertical line is upright. So we can say that it's, it is a line that is upright. So a vertical line is simply a line that is what? Upright. So this is the what? This is a diagram illustration. So based on diagram illustration, we have our vertical line. So this is my x and this is my what? My y. So I can say that x and y are vertical lines. Now, the next line that you should consider is a horizontal line. Now what do we know about a horizontal line? We know that a horizontal line is simply a line which is slipping, that is, it is a slipping line. We say it's, it is a slipping, a slipping line. A horizontal line is a what? A slipping line. So based on diagram illustration, we have our horizontal line like this. So I can say this is what? This is M and this is N. So this is my horizontal line. A slipping line is what? A horizontal line. Now, the next line that you should keep in mind is a parallel line. Now, what do we, what do we know about parallel lines? Parallel lines are simply lines that they don't meet no matter how they are extended. They don't touch each other. They are separated. No matter how you extend them, they cannot touch themselves. They can meet. So we can say that these are lines which don't meet. No matter how they, they are extended. So parallel lines are lines that don't meet themselves, no matter how you extend them. So based on diagram illustration, based on diagram illustration, so I can say that AB are parallel lines. B is a parallel line. A is a parallel line because they don't meet themselves. A, B is a parallel line. They don't meet themselves. You, if, you, if you notice now or if you, if you can observe, no matter how I extend this A or no matter how I extend this B, they won't still touch themselves. This is the reason why they are called parallel lines. So the next line that you should keep in mind is a perpendicular line.
Now, what do we know about a perpendicular line? We know that a perpendicular line is simply a line that meets at 90 degree. Perpendicular line meets, that is, they meet at 90 degree. They meet at what? 90 degree. So, it is a line that meets at 90 degree. So, based on that diagram illustration, we have our perpendicular like this. So I can say that this is A and this is B. So I can say that A is perpendicular to B. So this is a perpendicular line. They meet at 90 degree. Can also be drawn this way. So this also gives me my perpendicular line. This also gives me my perpendicular line. So this is perpendicular line. This is also a perpendicular line as well. So they are lines that meet to form 90 degree. They meet at 90 degree. So the next line that you should keep in mind is what is known as a transversal line. Now what do we know about a transversal line? We know that a transversal line is simply a line that, that cuts a parallel line at two distinct points. It cuts, it cuts a parallel line at two distinct points. That is a transversal line. It cuts parallel lines. It cuts parallel lines at two distinct points. So we know that transversal line, they are simply, is simply a line that cuts two parallel lines. It cuts a parallel lines. That is the two parallel lines here. It cuts it at two distinct points. That's a transversal line. So based on that one illustration, I have my transversal like this. So this is my. So these are my parallel lines. This is A and this is B. So where is my transversal? I have my transversal like this. So this line here, this line that cuts the parallel line, is a transversal line. So I can still say this is C. So I can say this line is what? This line is C. That is to say, this C is the transversal line that cuts this two parallel line. It cuts this two parallel line at two distinct points. That's here and here. That is a transversal line. Now, we then proceed to the angles, angles formed from parallel and transversal lines. Now, whenever a, a transversal line cuts a parallel line, angles are formed. Angles are what? Formed. So, we want to take a look at the angles formed from parallel and transversal line. This is what I mean here. This is a parallel line. This is a parallel line. Now, when, it, when you have a transversal line that cuts two parallel lines, this is my transversal line. So I can say this is C. C is transversal to these parallel lines, A, B. Now, angles are formed. Angles are what? Formed. Angles are formed. Now, what are these angles that are formed? from parallel and transversal lines when you have something like this what are the angles formed the first thing now what you should know is that the angles formed from parallel and transversal lines are usually what equal they are equal to themselves so what are these angles we have the alternates alternates 
alternate angles. So we have the interior and the exterior. So the alternate angles, both the interior and exterior, we focus on that as well. The next angle that is formed is what is known as corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are formed as well. The next one is vertical angles. Vertical angles are formed. The next one is consecutive angles are formed. Now, and in this consecutive, we focus on the interior. Consecutive interior angles. Now, you should know that vertical angles add up to 180 degree. You should know that. They add up to what? 180 degree. So, these are the angles that are formed from parallel and transversal lines. So, based on illustration, based on illustration, I'm going to illustrate that to you. So, the second part of this video will be the illustration of all these angles on these parallel and transversal lines. So I'll need to rub off these two parts, these two parts to illustrate to you where these angles are usually in on transversal and parallel lines. When I come back, so we've been able to rub off these two parts. And remember we said these are the angles that are formed from parallel and transversal lines. So let's go on to the word, to the illustration. So let me redraw. This is my parallel line. So we have the transversal. Now, these are the angles here. I will use an alphabet to what? Indicate them. This is A, B, C, D, E, F. G and H. Now, let's start with the first one. What are the alternate angles here? Let's start with interior. A. Alternate. Alternate interior. Now, what are the alternate interior angles here? What are the alternate interior angles? The alternate interior angles. Now, interior is simply inside. Inside the parallel lines. Inside. That's interior. Inside the parallel lines. So, the only alphabets that are inside the parallel lines are C, D, E, and F. We can forget about A, B, G, and H. So, let's focus on C, D, E, F. So, these are the angles that are, that are interior. Inside the parallel lines. So then, what are the alternate interior? We know that C and F are interior. Now, this alternate angles, how you know it is? It is a Z. It is Z shape. It's Z shape, yes. It has a Z form. So, we can say that if you observe from this side, observe from this parallel line, I'm tracing out from C, like a Z, to F. So I said that the alternate interior angles here, CF, CF are the alternate interior, and DE are the alternate interior angles. So the alternate interior angles are angle C, F, comma, angle what, angle D, and E. Now, these are the alternate interior angles. Now, what about the alternate exterior angles? Alternate exterior angles. Exterior simply means outside, 
outside the parallel lines. So we don't have any business with C, D, E, F. Our focus is on A, B, G, H. So remember, we are still having a Z form. Based on outside like this, we still have a Z form. So the alternate exterior angles are A, H, and B, G. These are the alternate exterior angles. So we can say alternate exterior angles are angle A, H. Then we have, comma, we have angle B, G. Angle B, G. So these are the alternate exterior angles. Now we head on to the next one, which is corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. What are the corresponding angles here? How you can know the corresponding angles is? We, we look at, the, at, the, at this side first. We look at this side before looking at the other side. Let's focus on this side. The first, alternate, uh, the, the first corresponding angles you need to get here, the first corresponding angles you need to get here must be above, must be above the parallel lines. Then why the second corresponding angle that you are to get here must be below the parallel lines. So this is what I mean here. I can say that the first one, based on this side, must be above my parallel line. So F and B are above the parallel lines. D and H are below the parallel lines, if you observe. So my corresponding angles here are, for the first one, B, F are what? Above the what? The parallel lines. So, we can say angle B, F, comma, we can say what? Angle what? D, H, below the parallel lines. Angle what? D, H, comma. We can say, now let's focus on this other side. The first one for here will be above the parallel lines. A, E, A, E are above the parallel line. C, G. Are below the parallel line. So I can say angle A E, angle A E, and what? Angle C G are what? Also corresponding because they are below the parallel line. So C G, angle C, and what? G. So these are the corresponding angles. So Based on vertical angles now, based on vertical, so we can say D, vertical angles. What are the vertical angles here? The vertical angles are simply angles that are in this form. This is how you know a vertical, like this. Transverse, 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 crossed form. So we know that the measure of here is the same with the measure of here. And notice from here that these two angles, these two sides must add up towards 180 degree in vertical. So what are the vertical angles here? I can say that the vertical angles here are BC, AD, observe, observe in a crossed form, in a crossed form, in a crossed form, transverse, AD, so my vertical angles are what? Angle A, D, comma, B, C, angle what? B, C, comma, let's go to the down part, F, G, angle F, G, E, H, angle E, H. Now these are the vertical angles that you should know. Now, for consecutive angles now, consecutive angles, Now, how do, can we know consecutive angles from here? Consecutive angles are simply angles that are orderly arranged. They are, they are arranged order, in an orderly manner. They are arranged in an orderly manner. What is the consecutive of 1? The consecutive of 1 is what? Is 2. What is the consecutive of 2? The consecutive of 2 is 3. We cannot say 
uh, consecutive of one is three. We cannot from one jump to three. We must say one, two, three. Then four, five, in an orderly manner. We can be jumping the numbers. So we are focusing now on the consecutive interior angles. So let's face the parallel lines, the inside the parallel line, that's interior. Let's face inside the what? the parallel lines. So what are these consecutive interior angles? These consecutive interior angles, we can say that the consecutive interior angles, normally it is C, D, E, F in, a, in an orderly manner. I can say C, F, uh, e, D is not orderly in an orderly manner. So it has to be C, D, E, F. So now I can say D and F are equal. So I can say consecutive angles are D, F. D, F are what? Consecutive angles, interior angles. C, E are what? Consecutive words, interior angles as well. So I can say angle D, F, comma, angle C, E are what? Consecutive words, interior angles. So these are the things that you need to understand. These are the things that you need to know.